Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Malin. I am also called Miss Kitchen Heart all over social media. So uh, look me up, follow me if you want to. Today I am showing you some things I have bought lately. There are thrifted things and uh, there are things from the dollar store so very affordable things um, lately I have had a big crush on pink things uh, pink kitchen gadgets mostly um, so I'm trying to fit them in in my usual vintage retro colorful style at home as you can see lots of color and lots of pattern and uh, let's take a look so I have a few things here start this Eiffel Tower in metal it was about a dollar and a really really nice silver serving bowl was about two dollars 250 both of them thrifted these are ceramic tiles i got four of the blue ones and four of the red ones and they were a dollar all of them and uh, I think I should be able to make something with those. These cake liners, is that what they call? They're from the dollar store. I think they were a dollar too. I got some cake tins. One rectangular rectangular one heart shaped and one bundt cake shaped because I just had to throw mine away because it was leaking so I got a bunch of cute pink ones I got some Honeo from the dollar store as are these straws, paper straws with mustaches. These are also from the dollar store. You can put hot pens on them if you want to. Or you can use them for decoration or display or something. And just a, what are they called in English? Spatula, just a spatula. And uh, dish brushes. And that's how it looks. This is actually my favorite shape, the bunt shape. the heart. It was more fun than just a plain round one. I got a very boobalicious angel. She was thrifted. All of these things were dollar store and uh, I got, got this cake stand as well at the dollar store. And the rest is thrifted. A salt shaker. Really, really cute. And ceramics. And someone made this Tusselago Farfara. I don't know what they are called in English. 
but it's so cute. And this is a children's cup. There is Cinderella and uh, some other fairy tale. It was a dollar, so. And this is really, really cute. I think it's maybe a sugar bowl or something. It was two dollars, I think. And finally, it's this pretty thing. Just a little coffee cup. I don't drink coffee. I drink tea. But this was so pretty and I think it was two, three dollars. So somehow it will be on display and um, there are some Christmas things but that will be another video. This was just a very short dollar store thrift haul. This is actually an unexpected part two of my thrifted uh, homeware haul. Um, almost thrifted. Um, I found some new things as well this time not from the dollar, dollar store but uh, on Black Friday so everything not thrifted was on sale so let's almost everything not thrifted was on sale so start with two mixer bowls if you are Swedish, these are very well known. They are by a man called Sigvard Bernadotte. I think Sigvard Bernadotte. Uh, he actually was part of the royal family and they call him the designer pin prince. And these were 30% off. These were thrifted and I think they are just small flower pots. I've got a couple of bigger yellow ones and I really really like them. Um, I don't think these have been used as flower pots. They are in really good shape so I'm thinking using them for salt and pepper perhaps. This cupcake jar is also thrifted as is this cake pie donut teapot and this babushka kitchen timer I really needed a kitchen timer and now I've got one, actually I've got two, because I got this pink one, which is a magnet, so I will put it on my stove. I thrifted this cute, kitschy little deer pot with the biggest kissy lips. You can imagine. I love these kind of kitschy, cute things. This is another deer. And this is more classic and clean and less kitschy. Really pretty. I thrifted this little pink piggy bag. It's made of rubber. There. 
Well, it's really cute. I got a bunch of these plastic spice containers as well. I got them off of Etsy. I think there were 10 of them. So I am going to make over my pantry and then I'll move my spices into these. And this is a piece of wallpaper, vintage wallpaper. And this will uh, I will use in my pantry cover the sides and the back side and the shelves and everything. So it will be very 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 pretty I think. This is a new find. And I think it was 20% off. It's also a jar to put things in. And then I got some Christmas tea from Yogi Tea. I love Yogi Tea and I love Christmas teas. So this I will try after filming this. And then at the grocery store I got this big chunk of origami paper book. And this will be perfect for when my art mood gets back. Since I do mixed media art and uh, mail art, which usually is ATCs. And they are two and a half by three and a half inches. So these paper will last for a long time. Paper. These papers will last for a long, 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 long time. And I can't wait to start using these for collage and such. And it wasn't even ten dollars, it was like it was like eight dollars for all of these papers. And of course you can use them for origami as well but I probably probably won't. So, uh, oh, I forgot. I almost forgot. This pretty tin was a thrift find as well. Vintage cocoa tin. And I have, here we go. I have another one from the same brand, uh, Ögon Coco it's called, Eye Coco, but it, it's not as pretty as my new one. This is my pantry. This is what I will be making over with that beautiful wallpaper. And uh, it's here somewhere I will put my new spice jars here somewhere maybe so as you can see I have lots of thrifted treasures here well what do you know this video turned out to have a part three as well because yesterday I couldn't resist. I went thrifting again and I went to two thrift shops and I got a few more things. Uh, as I said in the beginning, I think I have gotten bitten by the pink, girly, frilly, cute bug. But as you can see, the retro orange jello kitschy bug is still alive and kicking. So um, let's see for this, this last part. I got this 
beautiful picture from the 70s, I guess. It's out of glass, like Pyrex, but it isn't. It's Jenna glass. And uh, the lid is plastic. I was out looking for drinking glasses. I have a couple of sets, but I wanted smaller ones. So I got these and uh, I paid about four, five, $5 for eight. I got this little vintage dish, plate, plating dish. And I got this. Beauty, and I'm thinking to use it for cookies or something. I love kitsch things you don't know if they are ugly or if they are pretty. And I got these two tiny liquor bottles in the shape of a man and a woman. And my parents used to have candles like these by their bed when I was little. Now I have little bottles. This is another one of these, those kitschy, is, are they pre is, is it pretty or is it just too much? And I love cuckoo clocks. This one is broken, it doesn't work. And it's missing a wing. But I love it. And I'm thinking uh, maybe painting it or keeping as it is. And another thing, I love icons. And this is a saint on a horse with a big bow. They are same and I'm thinking about hanging them in my Christmas tree. I got some cookie cutters. This one is older I think. But these are the ones I really wanted. It was about a dollar, dollar twenty. And a necklace. Uh, an amber necklace. I love amber. And this beautiful bowl from the 70s or 60s. And a couple of oven mitts oven yeah, to keep your hands from burning on pots and pans. And they are never used, and they are really, really pretty, handmade. And this tablecloth. And I thought this was pure perfection. The pink flowers, and the polka dots, and the yellow, and the blue. This is beautiful. And then I got some tins. I collect these kind of tea tins. They were actually original, originally used for tea. And I don't have a red one. This is also an actual tea tin. And uh, this pretty one used to hold uh, chocolates, liqueur chocolates. And this, I love these tiered dishes, uh, dishes, no sorry, uh, cake tins, cookie tins. 
usually they are round and have three tiers but this was pretty decent in price and it's yellow I love yellow and it's in really good shape so that's a good buy I also got I have stuff everywhere today I got this two bowls for, for Christmas got this wooden bowl and this porcelain bowl and it's really really cute with the gnomes sawing down a Christmas tree. Also I oh I forgot about this. I got this frame as well. It needs a little work on the back but it's really really nice. I'm thinking I will spray paint it in some maybe pink, maybe white, maybe something else. But I wanted to show you the reason for my mess. The wallpaper I just showed you is up in my cabinets, in my pantry and uh, I totally miscalculated how much there were. I have just now run out of wallpaper. So uh, I hope I can find more, but this is vintage, which means it's difficult to find. You can't go to the shop and buy it, but uh, I will try, I will have a look because the back of my smaller cupboard needs some wallpaper and I want to do my shelves as well. I could paint the shelves, but I want them in this beautiful floral pattern. It's, it's amazing. So this is now, uh, goodbye, have a nice day, have a nice week and I'll see you later. Goodbye. Thank you for watching.